So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is a very specific test for picture quality using OBS Studio Beta 28 to record some gameplay from an Xbox Series X. But this has been recorded on a MacBook Pro M1 Max. So obviously what this means is, is that OBS Studio is running natively on ARM Apple Silicon processors now. So what I'm going to do is run through a full game and then from there you can assess for yourself exactly what the picture quality is is like however what I'm going to do right now is just get into explaining some of the basic setup here because I do believe that this is now going to become a big deal for people on arm based Mac machines who have been waiting for some time to get hold of OBS to work correctly for them anyway so what I'll do is let me just go full screen here okay so the first thing to mention here is obviously I'm using an Xbox Series X that is connected to the Mac via an Ultra Studio Recorder 3G, which is a Blackmagic Studios box. Now, the thing is, that particular capture box only does 1080p. So, obviously, the Xbox is set to 1080 coming in in 1080 via that box. Now, what I'm actually doing here, though, is to record in 4K. So, if I just show you here the base settings. So, if I go to video, as we can see, I'm actually setting the canvas size to 3840 by 2160 zero so effectively that is 4k uhd and also i'm recording at 59.94 frames per second basically 60 frames per second now if i come to the output here if i go to the recording setup as we'll be able to see here i'm using as far as the encoder is concerned apple vt h.264 hardware encoder now the thing with this is what vt means is video toolbox so this is actually the first time now that obs is fully compliant with some of the extra hardware and software functionality of the new apple silicon based arm machines so this is actually like the biggest deal i think to what we're, what we're now going to be able to do as far as obs is concerned on arm based max now if i just scroll down here as well i'm recording at 200,000 kilobits per second. Now you might think that that bit rate is really high, which it actually is. However, the reason why it is that high is because I'm using this then to put inside DaVinci Resolve Studio, where I will then export it out as a much smaller file ready for the upload to YouTube. In fact, right now on the screen, what you're looking at is the export page in DaVinci here. And as you can see here, there are the basic settings that I'm using for the export. And then the last thing to show show you is the type of scaling that I'm using here. So if I just click on the capture device here and then click on filters, as we can see, there is a scaling aspect ratio filter applied to it. Now if I just click on that, we can see here that the selection that I've used is Langsos and then that is saying to upscale to 3840 by 2160. Now the reason why I'm making a point of showing you that is because that is actually a fairly difficult thing to do. So I'm taking a 1080p input and then I'm upscaling it using the Langsos filter to 4K and this is all being done at essentially 60 frames per second as well anyways that will do for this basic setup now if anyone's into this stuff let me know in the comments section below because i'm highly likely to start doing some basic tutorial stuff now for obs on like arm apple silicon and stuff like that anyway i'm going to get into the gameplay now and you can assess for yourself how good the picture quality is or isn't
alive. Enemy lives depleted. Active camo available. Enemy shields down. Zombie depleted. Danger zone incoming. Incoming. They brought one back. Tango's closing in. Enemy revived.
Enemy lines being defeated. Active camo inbound. Active camo available. Okay, so that should just about do it then for this video, and hopefully it has been good enough to give you a really good idea of the type of image and picture quality that you should be expecting for this type of setup for doing game capturing on an Apple Silicon based Mac. And please do let me know in the comments section below if there's anything that you might like to see in future videos, very specifically for certain types of setting up and whatnot for OBS on these Apple Silicon Macs. And if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.